That brings us to the second one, which is number four now. Itching ears. He says, because, he says the time will come, they will not endure sound doctrine. But, according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers. I read an illustration that explained itching ears to me. You know, there's a way your ear itches you when you get that thin feather and you start rolling it. You, you will be closing your eyes. Is that not so? You'll be enjoying it. Meanwhile, that feather can damage your eardrums. In fact, sometimes the ear is itching so badly, you will leave the feather and grab metal. How many of you know what I'm talking about? You will grab a metal to be itching. That is what he's saying here. That's the kind of itching ears. They are not satisfied with hearing the truth. They want something that will tingle the ear. Dangerous words that will destroy their ear. Another illustration of itching ear is there are some people whose back, when the back is itching and your hand can't reach it. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Then you look for one small boy or one small child there. He said, mm, mm, put your hand there. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, that's what, that's what. Mm, mm, scratch, 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 hard, hard. As you scratch it, your eye is rolling. Mm, 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 mm. You know, nobody can talk to you. You're not here. That is itching ear. The ear that is looking for something that will be tingling it. Yes, yes. Mew mm. is damaging the ear, but it's happy. That's what it means. So because they are looking for someone that will be scrubbing the ear, scratching the back for them, what do they do? They gather pastors. They, gather, they heap up what? Teachers. Who will be teaching them? That's what they heap up. They'll be heaping up teachers. So that this one will say, to them, yes, it's you. Mm, I like that. Mm, yes. Carry on, pastor. Preach it on, preach it on, preach it on. Then they go elsewhere. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Meanwhile, what they are telling them is a lie. It has no basis in scripture. But they, are, they like it. It's itching their ears. Oh, yes. Mm, mm. The spirit of God is one indeed. I heard it here. Now they are telling me here. All to itch the ear. They got the, the teachers themselves. God did not direct them anywhere. They went there. That is what happened in 1 Kings 22. Verse 1 to 23. 1 Kings chapter 22. 1 to 23. When Ahab gathered 400 prophets to be tintillating his ear. They were doing all kinds of demonstrations. Some made horns with metal and put it over their head and said, this is how you are going to go the enemy. You are going to go the enemy. Go and prevail. Go and prevail. You are going to make it. You are going to be great. Until Jehovah Shaphat said, King, come. These fellows here, don't you have a prophet of God? Ahab said, don't mind the one that I have. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't like me. Sir, ah, is it that he doesn't like you? He, he says things that, that, that don't favor me. Is that what you are looking for? That was Ahab. Each in years. 400 prophets, one man. Until Micaiah came and told them, told him that, look, a lying spirit has entered these your prophets. None one of them can tell you the truth. They are, good, they are telling you lies. One of them came and slapped him and said, wow, where, 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 did, the, where did the spirit of God leave me to come to you? He said, ah, don't worry. When you are hiding under the bed, eh, you will know that the spirit is, is, is not with you, but elsewhere. When you are looking for words that will excite you, you will, you will be, you will, you will be in, in introducing syncretic. You will not be able to hold on to the word of God. Because the word of God requires sound ear to hear. Let him that hath one ear hear what the Spirit tells the churches. That's all you need. Sound ear. Hear it. You may not like it, but hear it. It may not excite you, but receive it. Take it in. Take it in. Allow the word to die inside your spirit, man, and grow. The Bible says, except the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. 
Allow the word of God to come in and grow in you. 